When I left the military initially, those first, I want to say about a month, month and a half, I felt like I really wasn't serving a purpose. For five years, I was, I was protecting everybody. I was, I was doing something. I was being productive to society, or at least I felt like I was. And then when I got out, I had nothing. Right after I left the military, I um, kind of bummed around for a little bit, took a break, um, tried school. Uh, that didn't work out for me. Um, I was going through a lot. When you're in the military, you don't realize that the experiences that you've been through had some sort of effect on you. And when you get out, you start to realize you're not exactly like every other kid. So I would hear my friends freaking out or getting back into the Marine Corps. And I would, I, you know, I would say to myself, how can they be like this? I thought they would love to get out. Well, then you go to school, you start having anxiety. When you get to your class, you're intimidated in a sense by a bunch of 18, 19 year olds. I didn't have really any network of people or friends here. So the Saddleback Veterans Center really helped me and they made me one of their own and made sure I was ready. The most common uh, need that student veterans have here at Saddleback College um, is really the need for information. Um, they need information on their benefits, they need information on how to get navigate the college system, um, they need information on community resources. And once I got here, I mean, the first place that I went to was the Veterans Center and uh, everything that I did here was through them, so they got me through the whole process. Basic academic um, skills are always needed. Um, student veterans come to Saddleback College um, after being away from uh, any formal education or institutionalized education at college, um, you know, many years removed, four years, five years, you know, 10, 20 years. As far as the, the Vet Center being instrumental, it's my place where I can just relax. And to tell you the truth, when I had an anxiety attack, when I left class, the first place I went was to the Vet Center. And I just went and I just talked to all my buddies and like I said, you don't realize it when you're in the Marine Corps, you don't think you're going to go through a tough time on the outside, but it is hard, you know, I think all of us have at one point told ourselves that we're going to go back and enlist because of one reason or another, but actually what motivates me is those other students in that vet center, those other fellow veterans, those other fe fellow grunts that are going through the same struggles that I am. I saw that everybody else is having, you know, the, oh, this is college and, you know, everybody else is having their problems, so I wasn't the only one that was having these kind of issues and then that kind of actually made me feel better, made me feel like, okay, I'm not alone in this. Between classes, you have 45 minutes, you can talk, you know, you tell them like, you know, wow, I, I've, you know, this really been bugging me, you know, I, I don't know what's wrong with me and another guy will be like, hey, don't, don't worry about it, man, you know, I'm going through the same thing and then another guy will speak up like, hey, me too. And all of a sudden, you know, you guys sit there and, and you talk and and you figure out why it's happening, what's triggering. I would have been lost in the sauce if I wouldn't have had the vet center. 